Mark, I'm going to graduate uh, this May, and I'm working on my BS. My name's Bill. I also graduate next May with a BA in Geology. I'm Michael Blair, and I'm going to be graduating in June, and uh, I'll be getting a BS also. My name's April Knox, and I will be graduating in May after I do my field camp in June, and I'll be getting a BS too. I started out my journey as a biology teaching major because I really liked the biology and then decided that wasn't the best thing for me after taking the G100, which is the first level course. And as soon as I switched and started taking the classes, I knew this is, this is me and this is what I want to do. But unfortunately, I had already put in two years of biology, so I had to kind of start all over again. And I actually started as a biology major also, um, and I, I pretty much just knew I wanted to do something with science, and I wasn't quite sure exactly what I wanted to do, um, and it seemed, you know, then animals and stuff like that, but uh, I started rock climbing, I started caving, and stuff like that, and so it, it seemed like a natural thing to take a geology class, and after that I was definitely hooked and was sure that that's what I wanted to do instead, so I switched majors. And, I finished an associate's degree in uh, general studies, and then uh, kind of my love of science led me to geology here, and I'm glad that I chose this major. Yeah, I started, what, first with art, and then I was in a teaching program, and then was with Lydia, but, and I was the earth science, or space science teaching, and I took a geology course, and it's fascinating. I didn't realize, I mean, it is like, you can get really specific, but it is, it's so, the range of what you're learning is everything about what life is about with just the earth systems, from water to the sky to everything about the earth, and, um, and I didn't realize all of the opportunity and how fascinating it was, and that's why I chose it. I honestly think the best part is um, all the people. The professors and stuff, they're very, very helpful and knowledgeable. They really work with us a lot, try to help us, help ourselves. Being yeah. a small uh, a small department, we get a lot of one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Yeah, I agree. And just the opportunities to be involved with undergraduate research and um, having that experience. Yeah, I think there's a lot more opportunities here than that. some of the... Um, bigger schools where I've talked to people going to where everyone is involved if they want to be in uh, research and field work and there's been some pretty cool field opportunities that are just a lot of fun. We get to go on field trips which I think is really helpful to, like when you're just learning out of the book and looking at pictures that can be kind of hard but then when you go out in the field and actually apply what you're learning and see what it really is is that's the best way to learn yeah. geology. Mm -hmm. And we have really good teachers who are excellent in the field. And it's fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we do nothing but have fun and learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We we do there's a paleobiology class where we learn about all the different types of fossils and we also discuss some of that stuff in earth history and then in the um, like beginning like hundred level classes too. Um, but depending on what what an individual student's uh, undergraduate research is, then it could involve a lot of it. Like for me, it involves a lot of fossils and things like that. Um, it just depends on uh, what what each student is interested in and what they want to do. It's all sort of interconnected, though. I mean, you can't go out into the field without seeing fossils Especially alongside around the other yeah. things. So the. Um to our understanding, at uh, larger schools that have facilities like this, undergrad students aren't allowed to, uh, they don't get the opportunity to uh, use the machine. We get a lot of hands-on opportunity that I don't think we could get in any other school. So I think we're real fortunate. And we, we also almost didn't get to take the class because the old scanning electron microscope died. And the one we have now is way nicer than what a whole lot of other schools have. So. Uh, we're really fortunate that being a smaller department at a nice like, smaller school that we have equipment that's this nice. It's really good. 
It is awesome because we get to use it not only for the class, but if we wanted to do research, you know, to help us with projects for various classes or for various professors, right here with access for us. Yeah, and then we're able to develop just a great technical skill for when we go on to the future. Yeah, almost any field you go into in geology, there's some aspect really having, you know, this skill in your tool belt is yeah. beneficial. Like there's it's useful in so many different ways that if you know how to use it, it's um, just one more thing you can add to research in all kinds of different ways. I think with the, the like Michael said, it, having having the experience using a uh, scanning electron microscope, um, not only does that add to your uh, capability to, uh, to do a lot of uh, tasks in the sciences, but just to have it on your resume is, is an impressive thing because, uh, you know, like we had mentioned before, not everyone gets the opportunity to do this as, a, as an undergrad even. It also helps with your understanding of the things that we learn in class. Yeah, it helps reinforce some of the things that, uh, for me, like, I haven't taken, it's been a couple of years since I've taken like petrology and mineralogy and stuff like that, and this sort of revisits some of those ideas and reinforces it, which I think like, as a senior getting ready for grad school, it's really nice to have that uh, right before moving on since it's, you know, you get a little rusty after a while. This probably, having experience with this probably helps you guys to get, well, yeah, I mean, just have grad school technical skill, like, if you know, any experience of using it. I think it definitely makes it more it. Yeah. It wasn't until I was looking for one last class to, you know, fill up so I was full-time for one semester that I found geology. Yeah, I agree. I mean, growing up, or like when people ask me what I'm doing and they're like, geology, they're like, well, what's geology? Is that, yeah. Yeah. It's everything and it's so important yeah. to, I mean, it's the energy business, it is learning about just the Earth's history, it is really, really important and it uses all the other sciences. Um, yeah, everybody thinks it's just about rocks. It's not. And it's not. Yeah, and just a practical thing, like they're really good job opportunities right now. And um, and one thing I didn't know until pretty recently was if, if you do well as an undergrad, you get paid to go to grad school. And you so if you're like, oh, but I want money to go to grad school, it's not even really an issue. But if you do well, you get assistantships and things like that that cover not just tuition, but also like cost of living and things.